Yeah, good evening children. Welcome back to our class of uh, SAT Mathematics. Uh, today, of course, we have been doing some functions, uh, quadratic equations, then exponential forms. Now, we are entering into laws of exponential forms. So, look at this. So, of course, this includes equations. We have been doing equations, so this includes equations, but using the laws of exponential, okay. So, let us Exponents means what? You should have powers with variables, okay? That is exponent, not uh, x square and all. That is normal, exponent, numerical value. But if power has a variable or exponent has a variable, then they are called as exponential forms. Or otherwise, something like laws which govern exponential forms like a power m into a power n is a power m plus n, like that. All such rules come under laws of exponential, okay? So, let us move ahead and let us see what we have to do. So, x plus 1 by 2 is 1 by 16. So, x plus 1 is 1 by 8. So, x equal to 1 by 8 minus 1 that is minus 7 by 8. So, which option is there? Minus 7 by 8 uh, is somewhere approximately equal to uh, minus 0 0.96 I think if I am right. Yeah, uh, 8864. So, 0 0.875 minus. So, this option B satisfies. Option B satisfies. Right, children? Please note it fast, quick. Yes, children. So, let us, I think this you can take a click uh, or otherwise a snapshot. Uh, screenshot, then you can proceed. So, let us remove this and let us proceed, okay. So, now we will move to the next uh, page. So, look at this. Of course, this is same what we did there. Yeah. So, now look at this. 3x square into 9x into 3 is equal to 27 and x is greater than 0. What is the value of x? So, if you look at this, 9, 3 is 27. So, 27 gets cancelled. x square equal to uh, 1 by 3. So, x is plus or minus 1 by root 3, but as x is greater than 0, neglect negative sign. So, x equal to 1 by root 3 since x is greater than 0. Please note it, I will give you 3 seconds time. Quick children. So, this is 3x square, oh sorry, x cube, no children, just a minute, 3 power x square into, this is question is different and there it is different. Uh, so, let us redo the problem, okay. So, this is here it is little different, but there is some small change in the thing. Uh, so, this is 3 power x square, 3 to the power of x square, it is like this, 3 to the power of x square. So, 3 power x square into 9x into 3 is 27. So, 3 power x square into 3 to the power, 9 is 3 power 2. So, uh, this is 9 power x maybe. So, this is question itself need to be changed. Let us look at this full form. Yeah. So, the question itself we have to change. So, I am sorry, there is some uh, typing error there. So, let us uh, start it. The question is 3 power x square into 3 to the power of x uh, into 3 equal to 27. So, this is the question. So, now 3 to the power of x square, this is 9, sorry. So, this is 9. So, 9 is 3 to the power of 2 whole power x equal to 9. 27 can, is cancelled by 3, 9 times. 3 power x square into 3 power x uh, uh, into this 2 or minus instead of saying equal to, I will say minus 9 is 3 square or otherwise divided by 3 square equal to 1. I have divided by 
9 that is 3 square is 1 3 to the power of x square bases are same powers are to be added and this is divided by so this power to be minus equal to 1 is 3 to the power of 0 x square plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0 bases are same powers are to be equated so x square plus 2x equal plus 1 equal to 3 plus 1 equal to 2 so x plus 1 whole square equal to plus r minus root 2 uh, sorry this is whole square is removed so x equal to x equal to plus r minus root 2 minus 1. I think children here the question itself is this please change this question so this is not the question so now <coughs> 3 to the power of x square, I am repeating once again the explanation, 3 to the power of x square into 9x, 9 power x that is not 9x, I have rewritten here, 9 power x into 3 equal to 27. So 3 power x square I am writing as it is, 9 is 3 square whole power x into 3 I am taking it to the right, 27 by 3 is 9, okay children. So I divided by 9, so this is, look at this. 3 to the power of x square into 3 power 2x divided by 9 is 3 square is 1. 3 to the power of x square plus 2x this is division so minus 2 equal to 1 is 3 power 0. Any real number positive real number power 0 is 1. So 1 is 3 power 0. So x square plus 2x uh, minus 2 children. This is minus 2. Uh, so this is 3, this is 3, this is 3. So minus 2 here, minus 2 here equal to 0. So when I add 1, take this to the right, you will get equal to 3, plus r minus root 3, you will get plus r minus root 3 minus 1. But uh, what is that he said x is greater than 0? If I take x is minus root 3 minus 1, then it becomes negative. So I should eliminate minus sign. I should eliminate minus sign. Right children, so this is the answer. So please note this solution. Question I asked you to change. Remaining all is same, only this part it is not there. So please note it. So it is 0 0.732, option C satisfies. Root 3 is 1.732, minus 1 is 0 0.732. Please note it fast, quick. Okay, children, let us move to the next part of it, I mean next question, yeah, if 2 to the power of 3x minus 2 is 16, then x equal to, this is very, very simple problem, 2 to the power of 3x minus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 4, 16 is 2 to the power of 4, bases are same, in between equal to is there, powers are to be equated, so 3x minus 2 is 4, 3x is 6, x is Right children, I think this every one of you can do this. So just note it, we will go to the next problem. So just you need to note the question or otherwise you also get this in uh, our uh, uh, recorded lectures. Please note that recorded lectures and then note them, okay children. So let us move to the next question. This is the explanation for this problem. So let us look at this. See, 4a square minus 4b is 5 he gave and a is half then b equal to. Simple thing, we need to substitute value of a here. So 4 into half square is 1 by 4, minus 4b is 5. So 4 by 4 is 1. Take 4b to the other side, you will get uh, minus 4b equal to 4 or otherwise b equal to minus 1. b equal to minus 1. Please note it children, it is option number b. Quick.
Okay, children, let us move to the next question. So, here, yeah, this is little uh, simplification is there, not difficult question or a typical problem, very simple question, but little bit of simplification, that is all, okay. So, look at this, children. See, here you have 3, 4, 12, means I can convert 12 into 3 as well as 4 or I can write 4 as 2 power something also. So, it depends on how we want it to be. So, let us take uh, 4 power something into 3 power something, okay. So, let us look at this, uh, 12 power 5 equal to 3 power t into 4 power t he gave, right children. So, 12 is 3 into 4 whole to the power of 5 equal to 3 power t into 4 power t or otherwise instead of breaking this, I think it is better we bring a common uh, this one, look at this, it is very simple instead of breaking it to 3, 4. I think if you proceed as it is, it will be better. See, 12 power 5 equal to 3 into 4, power t I can write because uh, basis, when power is same, I can multiply this basis and take a common power, okay children. So, this is 12 power t equal to 12 power 5. So, this implies t equal to 5. Please note it. Take it fast. Good children. So, take that fast. Okay, children, let us move to the next question. So, which of the following has the greatest value? See, children, to understand the greatest value, we should ensure the bases are same and then we will see the powers. Okay, children. So, here also we will try to make the bases same. So, look at this. This is 6, 6 into 6, 36. I can bring 6 into 6. And this 36 is there. Here again 1, 6 will be left over like that. So, it is better instead of converting it to 36 powers, it is better to convert into 6 power. 6 power. That will be a better job. Uh, so, if you look at this first one, 6 power 2 plus 1 whole power 5. So, this is 6 power 3, 5 15. This is first option. Option B if you take, that is 36 is 6 power 2 whole power 5, that is 6 power 10. Third one you see C, 6 to the power of 4 plus 3 whole power 2, that is 6 power 7 to 14. D, 6 to the power of 4 whole power 4, that is 6 power 4, 4, 16. Now you tell me which is the greatest children. This is the greatest, isn't it? So option D satisfies. Option D satisfies. Right children, please note it fast. Okay, children, let us move to the next question. Solve for x. Of course, whenever he says solve, I told it is to find out the value of variable. So, as only one variable is there, he need not state uh, solve for x. Simply solve also will work out. So, now you see right side it is 4. So, left side also we should be able to write it as 4 power something. 64 power x uh, equal to 4 to the power of x square minus 4 he gave. 64 is 4 power 4, x equal to 4 power x square minus 4. Bases are same, powers are to be equated, children. So, x square minus 4 equal to 4x, x square minus 4x equal to 4. So, x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 8. So, this is x minus 2 whole square I can write. That is 8, x minus 2 is plus or minus root 8. 
so x equal to 2 plus r minus root 8 is 2 root 2. So, if you substitute here uh, root 2 root 2 uh, 4 power uh, 16 is 4 4 16 16. So, this is 3 x children 3 x. So, this all will change. So, here look at that. So, this is 3 x 4 cube 4 power 4 is 16 16 4 64. It was a small error equal to 3 x. So, now I need to take factors. So, I need not take this, I will change this also. So, now if you take out x square minus 3 x minus 4 equal to 0. So, this can be factors, you know, so many problems we did on factors. So, this can be written as x minus 4 into x plus 1 equal to 0. So, x equal to 4 or minus 1. So, option A satisfies children. Please note it fast, quick, quick. Okay, children. So, let us move to the next question. I think you followed this. So, let us move to the next question. This ink part is not necessary. So, this is the solution you have. Everything whatever we wrote there is seen here. So, let us move to the next question. You see simplify this. Simplify this means we have a numerical part. We have x, we have y, we have z. So, if you look at this in two cases z is also in the numerator in two cases z is in the denominator. So, if you look at this z power z square by z power 4. So, denominator should be z square. So, answer should be b or c. These are ruled out. a and c are ruled out. So, we need not work out everything children. Sometimes directly also we can get. So, uh, 128 numbers are same. So, we should not talk about this x power 8 same z power 2 same only y. So, in these type of problems we need not verify everything only check the power of y. See, first I said either b or d should be the answers because z square by z power 4 is denominator will get z square. So, with this we could clearly state either b or d are the answers. Now, if you see b and d 128 x power 8, 128 x power 8, z square, z square, everything same only power of y is different. So, let us check only power of y. So, power of y is what? y to the power of 3, 3 is 9 by y to the power of 5 is y to the power of 4. So, which option has that? Option B has that. So, we do not need to do everything children, but in the solution we will show everything. But here like this with just one term we can close the answer. These are called as logics or applications of skill we call it. So, please note this quick. Okay, children. So, I have you should note this so that you get an idea, right, children? This is full simplification. This is a shortcut, like otherwise, short it is called a shortcut. Okay, let us go to the next question. Solve for x, of course. This is similar to your first problem. So, please note this question. It is homework. We will not do this here. Note it fast. I will give you 3 seconds time to note it quickly. Yes, children, please quick and speed up the process. Okay, let us go to the next question. Yeah. So, expression simplifies to A, B, C, D options he gave. So, he gave 3 to the power of something. See, look at this. 
3 to the power of 30 and root is 3 power 15 because root becomes half. So how many cases you have 3 power 15 only one case. So don't need to try anything simply you can write this one thing we have checked and we have written. Otherwise you have to simplify fully. So here they will simplify fully but anyway not required children okay. So this is the way you work it out. So no need to copy it now because very simple question let us move to the next. This is homework because same same as previous case. So let us move to the next. Uh, this also has only y. You need to do it as homework fast. 3 seconds time to copy it. Right children let us move to the next question. Yeah this is also simple. See always these type of questions are like this only. They are simple and uh, particularly uh, uh, simplifications like this with exponents they are always simple because we are not going into complicated things. Uh, so unless we get something it is uh, there. So please note this fast quick. So like x square y by z divided by if I make it uh, multiplication that reciprocates. So x z x z y by x z y by x that is all. So this will help you simplify it. So no need to solve it homework quick. Divided by when it is there this becomes reverse when I make it multiplication that is the basic rule. So please note it fast quick. So let us move to the next uh, question why it is like this you know because denominator fourth place goes to first place third place goes to second place like that okay. So let us move to the next question. Yeah this here we need not do everything children you see you have ABCD options. Let us take see x power 48, x power 8, x power 10.5, x power 5. So power of x is different. Let us not look at everything and let us not try. As x power is different only x power if you check remaining all will work out. So x power 15 cube root of x power 15 by x power minus 3. So this is x power 15 by 3 because whole power 1 by 3 will get and minus 3 goes to the numerator and becomes plus 3. 5 plus 3 8 x power 8 which option you have x power 8 option B. So answer is that only right children. So you need not work out everything just look at one exponent and simplify it. See here we have only x y sometimes you may give multiple variables you no know, like z then some other variables then we have to see which power is different and only one of that you can verify. Suppose two are same. So leaving those I mean uh, uh, same things you go for other alternatives check the other alternatives where they are different or you should search for a way where with one verification you will be able to get it like that okay children. So please note it fast quick. Okay children let us move to the next question look at this simplify see here also x y z so just check one variable you see x power 8 x power 8 x power 9 x power 9. So let us not check x because if you look at x uh, two of the options are same two of the options are same. So if you get x power 8 it is either a or b if you get x power 9 it is c or d. So let us not look for x y power you see two of them has minus 6. So let us not check z power 8. So the only best way is to find out y power. So if it is y power look at this uh, y power minus 6 you will get or not y power minus 6. So answer should be a or d answer should be a or d. So now you should check either x or z because z both he gave z power 8. So now this is 12 minus 3 is 9. So this is ruled out that is the answer. So like this children. Uh, I was just telling an example before an example has come here. Sometimes with one verification we may not be able to do. So we need to go for a second verification like this. Otherwise uh, if uh, see as this has only x, y, z full simplification also it will take the same time. Instead of thinking and wasting our energy, our time, our brain everything it is better you can just uh, solve it directly. But I am just give, trying to give you the techniques because there could be more number of variables 
in that case how to solve the problems. So for that you should create some ideas. So I am creating some ideas for you. So you need to grow on this and ensure that you do the things in a better way and in simpler way. Okay children. So this is the thing. So you can note it. I uh, will give you 3 seconds time. This is not required but still I will give you 3 seconds time children fast quick. Yes, children, let us move to the next question. So, option is D, that is over. Next question. Yeah. <coughs> solve for x square. I mean, solve for x, x square equal to cube root of 125, he gave. <coughs> so, x equal to 125 power 1 by 3 whole to the power of 1 by 2. So, 125 is 5 cube whole power 1 by 3 whole power 1 by 2. So, this is 5 power 3, 3 gets cancelled, 5 power half is root 5. So, which option? Option A satisfies. Please note it fast. Quick Simplifications are simple, no complications, even a 6th or 7th class child can do this children. And then definitely I am 100 percent sure you will not find any difficulty in these things. Please. Okay, children, let us move to the next question. Look at this. So, now what should be y? So, x square y whole square equal to 45 square. What should y be? See here he has given only one value, but anyway, let us look at this. Uh, so, we will try to write something as x power 4 into y square, is not it? So, this is equal to 45 square. So, let us find out factors for this. 45 can be written as 9 5s, 9 is 3 into 3. Okay. So, 45 power 2 means this whole power 2 we should get. So, look at this. Uh, anyway, he has, I mean, here we have shown directly. So, I will show this. x power 4 y square equal to 3 power 4 into uh, 5 square. So, x equal to 3, y equal to 5. Right children, this is what we have shown here. So, please note this. So, option, he is asking you y, y is 5 is d. Right children, please note it fast, quick. Okay, children, let us move to the next question. Look at this. x power minus 1 equal to root 2 by 2. Simple logic. So, x square must be, he says. So, x equal to uh, root 2 is 2 power half minus 1 whole to the power of minus 1. This minus 1 goes to the right, it becomes minus 1. So, x square equal to 2 to the power of uh, minus half into minus 1 into 2 because we have squared it on both sides. So, these 2 gets cancelled. So, it should be 2. x square should be 2 children. Okay. So, look at this option. C satisfies. Please note it fast. Quick. Okay, children, let us move to the next question. Solve 128 equal 4 power x. So, we let us find out uh, factors for 128. So, 2 
64, 2, uh, 32, so 2, 16, so 2, 8. Uh, 4 power x or better, we would have taken 4 factors because it is simply dragging. So, let us take 4, 128, 4, 4 3 is 12, 4 2 is 8, 4 uh, 8s, 4 and 2. So, children, here if you observe, you have 4 cube, you have 4 cube and only 1, 2. So, even if you write uh, 2 in terms of 4, it can be written as root 4. So, that means 128 can be written as 4 cube into root 4. 2 is root 4 or not? So, 4 power half that is 4 power x. So, bases are same, bases are same, powers are to be added 3 plus half equal to 4 power x. Bases are same, powers are to be equated x equal to 6 plus 1, 7 by 2. Please note it fast, quick. 7 by 2 is 3.5, okay. Please note it fast, quick. Okay, children, let us continue to the next question. I think this is very simple. See, this is little uh, thinking, that is all. Remaining all were very simple. Uh, this is second or third question where little bit of thinking is required from the questions that we are trying to do. Okay. <coughs> Take this. See, 5 power 4 into m is 5 square, then m. This is very simple problem, homework. Please note it as homework. This is not to be done in the class. That is homework. Please note it quick. Okay, children, let us move to the next question. So, look at this. Yeah. Uh, find the value of n if this is equal to uh, so there should be given something 3 to the power of something is to be given. So, I think we need to change the question, 3 to the power of 2n, for, achha, for all values of n, this is equal to what, achha, achha, okay, okay, right children, the question we are not reading properly, for all values of n, this will be equal to. So, simply write everything in, the, in terms of 3 or everything in terms of 9. But children, if you observe, in this 9 is not there, uh, sorry, n is not there. So, this cannot be the answer. So, in this th n is there, of course, here 2 has come, nowhere in the base we have 2. Therefore, this is ruled out, this is ruled out and this is only number. So, this is ruled out because we need to get n. So, here if you observe, uh, here this could be the answer. Uh, no children. So, here you see this gets cancelled. So, this it is not simple. So, this way we cannot work it out. Uh, see, uh, if you look at the question, uh, 3 power 2n you have, 3 power 2n by 9 is 3 square whole power n. So, these two gets cancelled, answer is 3. So, option A satisfies. So, n uh, need not be present because that is getting cancelled. If n is not getting cancelled, term with n is not getting cancelled, then compulsorily answer should contain n children, okay. Please note it fast, quick. Okay, children, let us uh, move to the next question. So, look at this. Yeah. So, if x is a positive number, then this is equal to what? So, this is simple simplification. Please try this as homework, children. Please note it fast. That is homework. You should be able to write it as x bar something. Uh, 
See, children, please remember, we are also taking questions which have come from previous uh, SAT exams. So, children, whatever we are doing, this completes everything that is connected to this form. Okay. So, don't think that uh, will they be so easy? Uh, yes, definitely. See, I told uh, SAT syllabus, SAT 1 syllabus of maths and English, maths particularly, it will be up to 10th class. So, therefore, uh, definitely you all have already done it. Therefore, it is only simplifications up to 10th. It could be any class syllabus starting from uh, 6th onwards. Okay. So, all these simplifications you have done well in advance somewhere long back in some previous classes and you all are well aware of these things. I do not think anyone is not aware of this. So, but still because we have a chapter, we have to discuss that, we are doing it. Right children, let us go to the next question. Yeah, see if x equal to a power 5 equal to b power 3 and x is positive then a b he is asking, then a b. So, options are this. So, now look at this x equal to a power 5 and x equal to b power 3. So, x power 1 by 5 equal to a, x power 1 by 3 equal to b. So, a b is nothing but x power 1 by 5 into x power 1 by 3. So, that is x power 1 by 5 plus 1 by 3 that is x to the power of 15 is the LCM 3 plus 5 is 8. So, a b is x power. Uh, 8 by 15. So, children, this option C satisfies. Please note it fast. Quick. Yes, children. So, let us go to the next question. All are very simple simplifications. So, let us move to the next question. Uh, x square equal 4, y cube is minus 8, which of the following is not necessarily to be true. Uh, y is less than 0, it is true because x square is 4 implies x is plus or minus 2. So, y cube is minus 8, that means it is minus 2 power 3. So, y equal to minus 2 which is compulsorily less than 0. Option 1, he says not necessarily to be uh, true, he says. So, this is compulsorily this is less than 0. x is less than 5, yes, x is less than 5 is also true. y is an integer, yes, minus 2 is an integer, negative integer. So, true. So, x is greater than y. So, what is x? Uh, it is plus or minus 2. If x is plus 2, then it is compulsorily greater than y, okay, like this. But if x is minus 2, this is equal to y. Therefore, this need not be true compulsorily, children. So, this is the option, wrong. It could be wrong also. Based on the value of x, we will have to decide. Note it fast, quick. <coughs> right, children. So, let us move to the next question. Uh, look at this x is less than 0 he gave and y is 5 more than square of x. x is less than 0 means x square is always greater than 0. So, y is 5 more than x square means y equal to 5 plus x square he gave. 5 more than x square means 5 plus x square. Now, x. So, y minus 5 equal to x square, x equal to plus or minus root of y minus 5. So, you see, uh, plus or minus root of y, y minus 5, but he said x is less than 0. So, compulsorily, whenever something is there in the square root, this should be positive. That should be positive. So, he said x is less than 0, so positive is removed. So, x is minus root of y minus 5. 
right children so please note it fast which option is there uh, option number 1 fast quick Right children, so see here, can we identify directly, let us see if we can identify directly. Here x is positive, x is positive, but he said x is less than 0, so these two are ruled out, these two are ruled out. Now left over things are option b and option d. So here we cannot get anywhere y square with this equation we cannot get y square with this equation, right children? So therefore, answer cannot be D. So without solving, without writing this part, we can easily identify in this case that option is B, option is B children. How it is, once again we will discuss, why I am telling all these points is, sometimes certain things can be done very easily and I do not want you to waste time in trying to solve. This is simple question, sometimes little more complicated also can be easy and oral. So let us discuss. See x is less than 0, he said. As these are roots, definitely they will be positive. These two are positive means greater than 0. When they are greater than 0, answers cannot be that because he said x is less than 0. These two are the options, but given equation is this. When this is the given equation, we cannot get y power 2 because here y power 2 is given. So, we cannot get y power 2 because x power further rises. So, therefore, it cannot be y power 2. So, this is also ruled out. Only b is the answer. Orally, you can write off. Right, children? So, sometimes this type of simple questions also can be given. You need to solve it without even trying for that. Okay? So, let us go to the next question, children. I think you have followed what I am trying to explain here. So, look at that. So, here 2 y cube by x square whole power 4 into x power 10, he is asking us to find out. This is simple. I think you can simplify this and uh, complete this as homework. I think you have copied the question. Let us move to the next one. So, let us go to this. Yeah. Uh, root of 31 minus 6 into root of 16 plus 9. So, you should be able to write it children. This is nothing but root uh, 25 into 25. So, that is equal to 25. Simple question. So, this you can write it. There is no problem. I think I need not give you time even to solve it. So, answer is 25. So, let us go to the next question. Look at this. What is the largest integer of n such that 2 power n is a factor of 20 power 8? What is the largest integer of n such that 2 power n uh, is a factor of uh, 20 power 8? So, 20 can be written as what? 4 into 5 whole power 8. So, this is 4 power 8 is 2 to the power of uh, 16 into 5 power 8. So, what is the largest integer he says? So, now look at this. Uh, 2 power n is this, we got it. Uh, no, what is the largest integer? So, let us not equate them. Okay, children. So, this is 2 power 16 into 5 power 8, we got it. Uh, so, uh, 2 power n minus 16 is 2 power n minus 16 is 5 to the power of 8, is 5 to the power of 8. Uh, what is the, of course, uh, let us not bring it again. These are not division. This line is bringing all the difference into 2 power, into 2 to the power of 16. Uh, so now, uh, 2 power 16 is a factor of 20 power 8. Uh, So, what is the largest integer of n 
such that 2 power n is a factor. Yeah. So, what is the largest integer we are getting here? What is the largest integer of n such that 2 power n is a factor of 2 power 8? 2 power n is a factor of 20 power 8. So, in 20 power 8 we are getting 2 power 16. So, what is this n equal to? If you compare n is 16, right children? So, option D satisfies. Please note it fast. Is it clear? In 20 power 8 he is asking what is the uh, value of n for which uh, 2 power n is a factor. So, we got it as 2 power 16. So, n is equal to 16 because other one is 5. It is not uh, the power of 2. So, we are not bothered of 5 power something. So, we are only bothered of 2 power something children. Okay. So, please note it quick. Right. Okay. Let us move to the next question. This is simple. I think you should be able to uh, solve it. So, orally can we do something here? Orally can we do something? This is very, very important children. You see, uh, 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 55 is 5 into 11. So, 11 power something should come in the numerator because denominator it is 5 power something. And uh, numerator is 5 power 5. It is like this. Let us write and then discuss. 5 into 11 whole power 5 means 5, 5, 5. So, 11 power 5 we should have. This is not the answer. This is not the answer. Answer should be one of these two. So, now 55 minus 5 is 50. So, option C satisfies the condition. Okay. Very simple direct question. There is no complication, nothing. Just direct question children. Please note it fast. Okay. So, let us move to the next question. So, look at this children. Uh, x is 1 by 9, then root x minus x square. So, root x, x is 1 by 9, root x is 1 by 3, okay. And then uh, minus x square, x square is what? 1 by 81. So, root x minus x square, simple question, there is nothing to work it out. 81 is the LCM. So, 3 cancels 27 times, you will get 27 minus 1 that is 26 by 81. So, option C satisfies children. Please note it fast, quick. Okay, children, let us move to the next question, 9 power x power 3. Of course, this is very simple and direct question, children. So, please take it as homework and you complete it. Let me not solve these type of questions. Uh, you should be able to do, complete this. Okay, please note it fast, quick. Okay, let us move to the next question. This is not needed. Yeah, x equal to 4. He is asking to find out the value of minus 2 to the power of 2 root x plus 2. So, minus 2 to the power of 2 root x means root 4 plus 2. So, minus 2 to the power of 2 into 2 that is plus 2. So, this I think you should be able to simplify. Minus 2 to the power of uh, 4 plus 2. Okay, children. Uh, so, this you will get it as uh, this way. Uh, minus 2 power 4 is minus 16. See children, there is a chance of students getting confused here. This is not minus 2 power 4 like this. Wrong. This is minus 2 power 4. So, minus 16 will get plus 2 equal to minus 14. Option A satisfies. Please do not get confused with the uh, numbers of minus power, what is it, how it is, all these things you should be able to work it out. You should be very careful children. Okay. So, copy it. Uh, I think you have understood this. There should be no problem. Is there any confusion children? No. Okay. Let us proceed to the next one. Look at this. Root of 25 plus 10 x plus x square by 2 uh, equal to. So, x square plus 10 x plus 5 is x plus 5 whole square. Under root is this. 
So, you will be getting root of x plus 5 by 2 root 2 because root is there for numerator and denominator. So, option directly you will get it. Please note it fast. Quick. Quick children. Okay, children, let us move to the next question. Look at this 5 plus x by root 2 into root 2 by root 2 equal to, I mean, rationalize the denominator. I think, children, you should be able to do this. Next, rationalize the denominator. This also you should be able to do. Uh, but of course, uh, there are, uh, uh, I mean, certs is covered for few of you and few of you, it is not covered. So, whenever a plus root b is there, rationalizing factor is. a minus root b and if rationalizing factor of a minus root b is a plus root b like this. So, denominator he is asking you to rationalize 2 plus root 5 by 2 minus root 5. So, multiply by 2 plus root 5 by 2 plus root 5. So, 2 plus root 5 into 2 plus root 5 is 2 plus root 5 whole square by 4 minus 5 is minus 1. So, option B satisfies children. 4 minus 5 is minus 1. So, just a minute, is it A or B? Let us check. So, A plus B whole square is A square plus B square plus 2AB by minus 4 minus 5. So, this is option A, not B. So, this is option A children. Minus 9 minus 4 root 5. Right children? So, please note it fast, quick. Okay, children, with this we close your uh, exponential forms uh, or laws of exponents because we have done enough questions based on this. You have seen how simple they are and how easy to solve them, but you need to work these things because whichever are easy, there you should never lose mark, children. So, just because thinking that it is easy, do not leave it. Please try to work your material and content is already there in the, uh, I mean, portal, whatever you are given. So, please, please uh, try to work out. Okay, children, have a great day.